six, the six elevator boat in the front of the ship. <laughs> That's right, man. Hop on. You're going to the front of the boat. And when you get there, your nails will be done and your panties will be washed. It's incredible technology we're dealing with. Don't forget the bone drop. The nails. You guys want to join Tommy in here tomorrow at 11 o'clock for his late night adult comedy special. If you guys are sick. <laughs> Question number five. Every single one of you has one of these guys in your family. Some of you are sitting next to him right now. He is Mr. Technical. Just have a few of you identify that you're sitting next to him. Question happens a lot, always looks like this. Sitting out there, we were having uh, some water. 
and uh, there was this older couple sitting next to the pool, and they were they were talking. They were holding hands. It was really cute. They must have been married 60, 55, 60 years. And holding hands, very nice, talking, and then all of a sudden they stopped holding hands, and they kept talking, but the voices got a little louder, and then they were clearly arguing, and then they were fighting, and then they stopped. They turned and looked at Craig and I, and they said, hey, come here. So I sent Craig, because I was a little scared. <laughs> we walked over, and this lady with a little spitfire, she said, hey, uh, we're, we're having an argument. He said, no, we're not, we're discussing. She said, shut up. <laughs> She said, he thinks it's fresh water in the pool. I think it's ocean water in the pool. What's in the pool? <laughs> Have any of you been in the pool this cruise? Yeah. I turned to her and said, ma'am, you're absolutely right. That is ocean water in the pool. She then turned to her husband. She said, see, Fred, that must be why it's so rough in the pool then. <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> not for long, I'm guessing. <laughs> Question number two, I'm not going to make any side comments on this baby stands on its own. Buckle in, folks. Question number two, what do you do with the ice carvings after they've melted? <laughs> the late night comedy tomorrow. <laughs> Question number one, one of my personal favorites, happened uh, at the Ship's Life Q&A. It's uh, a question and answer session that I do on the last day of the cruise. Uh, in the Starry Night's Lounge, please join me, two o'clock on the last day of the cruise. Uh, this question came up, Craig was there, and it's a good thing he was. Uh, uh, this very nice, very normal looking gentleman. So I thought. Uh, waited until he didn't ask it during the Q&A, which was great, but uh, he, he came up right after the question and answer session. He said, Kirk, uh, I got a question for you. He says, uh, what religion are those people that wear the patches behind their ears? <laughs> Craig was right there. I didn't even have a chance to get anything out. He turned right to the guy and goes, there are patches. <laughs> party of your cruise. If you're ready to have a great time, make some noise. Come on. I need to know, ladies, I'm starting, uh, in fact, in just about 30 minutes' time, we're going to have the Jafar Curry Band playing for you live up on Lido Deck. About 10.30, we're going to have your entertainment team out there. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, yes, there will be food. Because that's what you need about 11.30 at night is a great big Mexican buffet. That's why we hold it outside. more than need to come to the late night tomorrow night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need to know before you go, where's the red team? Make some noise. completely in half. If you are in an odd number cabin, you're on the red team. Red team, where are you? If you're an even number cabin, you are on the blue team. Blue team, where are you? Red team! Blue team! Folks, directly after dinner, I want you to go down to your cabins, put on something that represents your team color, and then come on up to Lido Deck. We're going to have an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, make some noise.